Welcome back to the Fear and Beer Podcast, where we discuss all things Halloween Horror Nights, horror movies, and just a little bit of beer. So kill the lights, grab a cold one, and join us as we dive into this mad world we love. I'm Nick. I'm Seamus. And I'm Jamie. Like scary movies. Uh Uh-huh. Here's Johnny. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. You miss me. Aren't you drinking? I never drink. Why? And as a reminder to all listening, if you want to help us to continue growing as a podcast, don't forget to leave us a five-star review on whichever streaming platform you use. To stay up to date with us and all of our episodes, be sure to follow all of our socials. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Fear and Beer Pod. Feel free to reach out to us. We love to interact with you all. We finally have it. Sound the alarms. Tell your friend. Run through town screaming. We have our first <laughs> announcement. It is here, it is official, and it is the last of us. Woo! And we pushed off recording just on the hunch that it could be coming. So mm-hmm. glad we did because I would say we have a lot to talk about, but this is a IP that personally I have not completely in, dove into yet, mm-hmm. but we'll talk about that as we get to our main main segment. So that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into that, a couple little things just to mention again we are in the middle of our hhn at home month so if you have not been on our twitter page go to our twitter page there is a contest running currently we are going to select two winners each winner gets a shirt of their choosing all you have to do is donate to the trevor project post your donation there and then you get that many entries into the contest or raffle uh i don't think it's been stated yet but we will state it now that I'm not going to allow the same person to win twice. There's a lot of entries, but once you win, you're. I'm not going to. I don't think it's fair to give out two shirts to one person. So we'll we'll open it up so that way there's there's two different winners. Um, and mentioning of the shirts, our shirts are still available online. The ones that we just dropped the last week, they are all over our our page and our feed. There's a dead man's peer shirt. There's a couple monster shirts. There's a Jack inspired hellfire style shirt. There's a Chucky shirt. So do not go to horror nights unprepared. Get your shirts. Now they are on our T public page. You can find that on all of our socials. Our links are all there. So go get that stuff. And before we get into our main topics and stuff like that, I guess I should crack into my beer. This one is semi-relevant um i did buy a couple beers in mind for certain things and this wasn't the one i really had in mind for this style of announcement but it is called enter and consume Ooh. so i guess i can sort of be fungusy zombie people meaning i guess um mm-hmm. this is brewed in saint pete it's from the Brut- uh, brutalist contract brewery it is a rye ipa the 6.7% ABV and a zero IBU. So this is a hazy rye IPA with Chinook hops, and they're grown in New York. So I'm going to crack this. I got this at Half Barrel Project, and I'm going to crack this, and if anybody else has anything. I'm not, drink, I'm not drinking beer just because I'm lazy and I don't <laughs> go to the store, but I'm, I'm drinking Simply Spiked because I'm a, I'm Ooh. a little, maybe a little boy. I'm a beta boy. That's, That's the, almost the, like yeah. when we had our our – pumpkin latte things a couple well, of years this, ago I mean, this at least is like refreshing and doesn't taste like right. you know, like liquid shit but this was yeah that was garbage <laughs> i'm not gonna lie anyone that likes that i, I want to go back to it it was it's been like two years i'm gonna go back to it if you like that shit you're <laughs> was, gross you're gross was it disgusting it was like a i don't know it was like spiked spiked pumpkin coffee, right yeah like, it was like a spiked pumpkin like those starbucks jar things you see thing. it, like, in the yeah. coolers like that with like rum in it or something i don't know yeah, it, was gross. it was not it was not good so Sounds rancid. i'm gonna dive into this yeah, obviously one one sniff one sip and we'll see what it looks this is very very hazy looking um i kind of with it being a rye i i just assumed it would be darker but that's probably just ignorance on my part uh it doesn't smell too crazy it smells more like a light version of of a haze but Dive into this thing. See what we got here. Yeah, very light. This is. Mm, you got some. I get a little bit of back taste of of like that rye and 
stuff like that, but it's very, very light. I thought this would be a lot more on the rye, but it's very light on that and high on the hazy. So it's pretty good. This is enjoyable. It's one of those ones that's probably one and done for me. I don't know if I'd necessarily go seeking this one out, but Mm -hmm. as far as the title, I figured it was worthwhile. Mm -hmm. Oof. So before we jump into our main topic, obviously there's a lot to discuss there. We will take a little pit stop at our speculation scuttlebutt. So there is some stuff that's starting to come out. There are some, there's some talks on scare zones at this point. Cause I feel like the house discussion has sort of died down. We talked about that last week where rumors were starting to kind of come to a simmer. Um, but the scare zones are still very much up for debate. So I'll just start with the one that we, we meant we were kind of chatting with people about on Twitter and Instagram, and that is the possibility of a vamp scare zone again. Mm-hmm. Now, at the time that we had posted it, there was a couple different parties saying, you know, 69 slash 70s, uh, and then there'd be like a 90s uh, version as well. So there really wasn't a decisive winner, but it seems like now a lot more people are leaning towards that uh, 69, 70s, mm-hmm. Woodstocky, you know, hippie love, peace mm-hmm. and love style zone. Uh, so. What do we think about that? I, I'm a big fan of the vamp scare zones. Yeah. 55 was really good. I enjoyed that one a lot. 85, I think, wasn't as received well, but I enjoyed it better just because mm-hmm. I like the 80s. That whole theming of the year definitely helped. But what what do you guys think on a whole vamp scare zone possibly being Woodstock 70s hippie peace and love theme? I'm here for it. <laughs> I love that whole like era and stuff like that and just mixing vampires under it too. And like you said, the vamp scare zones that they've had in the past, I've enjoyed both of them, honestly. I thought they were both great, had a lot of fun in them. And I think it would be fun to have a different era because I know that um, they were in talks of doing like the 90s as well. And I feel like that could be maybe too similar to like the uh, vamp 85 vibe that they had going on even though it's the 80s and 90s but i would like to see something different i would love to see the 69 70s uh vamp scare zone i think it'd be really fun a bunch of hippie vampires running around would be sick (laughs) yeah and i'm i mean i'll go kind of along the same road as um jamie's kind of going with like i i want to see a different era but i would want i I mean again i've said before i want to see an even more different era um i think I think honestly, the sixties and seventies, even though they're not quite the same, is still pretty close to between fifty, the 50, 50, 55 and the eighty-five. Right. I would rather this, or this. I would rather see them. Excuse me. Go and do. I think what we had talked about before mm-hmm. at some point. I remember what episode we were talking about it, but I wanted to see like eighteen eighty-five. Like, give me a, yeah. a Wild West vamp. Yeah. Um, mm. That'd be like, cool. Back too. to the Future Three. Zone. Mm-hmm. Do that, or, um, you know, if you're gonna do closer to like the contemporary or modern era Mm -hmm. to like 2005 because that's almost 20 years ago you know what i'm saying so like don't i don't know i I, again maybe it's just because i'm not of the 60s and 70s that like i don't really have Mm -hmm. i don't really have connection to it other than my parents being from that (laughs) that era Mm -hmm. um and i never really was what we would call a pseudo hippie or a neo hippie i Mm -hmm. wasn't really like i wasn't that type of person in high school um so it doesn't really scream or, or, or show me that I, I, mm-hmm. I wouldn't get super excited about it. If they were to be like, well, you know, we've kind of confirmed a vamp scare zone, but they haven't really given up the era yet. I would be hoping for something more like yeah. further in the past mm-hmm. rather than, you know, something that's kind of like between 50 and 50s right. and 80s. Even like a roaring twenties, like one would be kind of cool. Yeah, too. yeah. I mean like yeah. a flapper one. I mean, right. I, unfortunately I think what we wanted the, the coven oh, spirits of the game. Uh, yep. And it didn't really. Exactly. Like it, it started that way, but didn't really stay that way. Mm-hmm. Um, like if we were to, if they were to do that, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think I would want to see, like I said before, like something that's even further in the past to like, give me like mm-hmm. turn of the century. You know, yeah. West is still hasn't been tamed and mm-hmm. that'd be kind of cool, but I don't know. Kind of Dawn of the Dead esque. Yeah. A little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yeah, well, kind not of. really, I mean, but... <laughs> but you, I'm trying to think of, like, a good example. Right. Um, like, 
this is gonna sound stupid. Remember the remember that movie Cowboys versus Aliens? Oh it yeah, sounds familiar, but I don't think. I've and seen it kind of took it kind of took place. I think if I remember correctly, it took place in that like the old West era. Mm-hmm. But it was like aliens invading. Rather than aliens, I'd want to see like Stephen King style vampires. Yeah, that would be my that would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. So another one, like I said, we're gonna go through a couple different scare zones mm-hmm. that were at one point rumored or. I, I I can't keep up with these message boards. So these, these, some of yeah, these may yeah. have been have already been <laughs> squashed, but at some point they were talked about, and there was a a mention of Vanity Ball Two, mm-hmm. a sequel of the Vanity Ball, which is I, I'm here for it. Mm-hmm. I think Vamp and Vanity Ball are are two kind of home runs for previous scare zones. Yeah. I think the Vamp scare zones. I'm always here for, for like a different rendition and stuff like that. But for me, a vanity ball to scare zone, I wouldn't be as excited because I'd want, I want vanity ball as a house, not as a scare zone because you know, with vamp 55, it opens the door for different eras, different decades, different sequels, and it can be kind of a different thing. I don't need that as a house really, but I think vanity ball has a good like story that could be, you know, really indulged in. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if doing a scare zone again would be like a good sequel or would they Mm -hmm. like change it and do like a different style show? I'm not sure how they would. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if how they would present it, but I, I would like to see vanity ball as more as a house than a scare zone. Yeah. I feel like there's just some scare zones that are like, perfect for having scare zones like you were talking about with vamp i feel like the different decades that they do it just fits perfectly in a scare zone as much as seeing it in a house debatable but like you said with vanity ball i definitely would rather see them make it into a house and i think they could have more to work with with that too with more of the backstory like you said yeah Yeah. so that's that was one that i think has sort of been not dismissed, but I don't think it's as high on the right. the the hopeful board anymore. But it was at least discussed at one point or kicked around by people. Mm-hmm. The other one we have is an odd fellow scare zone. So this would be potentially rumored as I mean, this would be the second scare zone that would be directly tied to a house because obviously speculation map two i believe had the last of us as a scare zone as well yeah so uh, how do you guys just initially think odd fellow would work as a scare zone as well as a house that's tough i actually need to look up what odd fellow is i don't even know what so, it is. so so odd fellow like- is the is the rumored house uh he's a character from the past he was in one of the houses from like back in one of you know yeah. 10s or 11 stuff like that but essentially jack the clown went to work for odd fellows circus mm-hmm. and uh, he's part of jack's like lore and that's one of the rumored houses is the odd fellows circus but now it was also rumored that an odd fellows circusy style scare zone would be involved in the event as well yeah I mean, I feel like I'd rather see that as a house because I would like to see like the backstory of it, like taking you through and seeing like how Jack was involved and all that kind of stuff like that. Because I feel like maybe I'm just kind of biased, too, but I feel like all the carnival-esque, carny, fun style houses I always really enjoy. So I wouldn't mind seeing that again as a house. And I feel like you could only do so much with the scare zone in the sense of putting up a big top circus tent or having specific characters like the treaks and foons kind of thing. That's like more of the vibe i'm getting with with that but i would like to see it more as a house probably i'm actually gonna take the uh the uh opposite viewpoint <laughs> the highway you, home Jamie. uh <laughs> no no none at all um i think i would rather it as a uh scare zone and the reason why i think is that i f- think just the theme of it would fit better like in, in an outdoor setting mm-hmm. um I don't know how well it would work mm-hmm. in an in, 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 in uh, an interior house. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of think of like uh, treats, uh, sweets. Excuse me, sweets. Last okay. year, yeah, um, where you kind of use that big open space and you put up. You know, they already have the 
you know, the, the, the carnival game stands, right? So you just take right. those and convert them and make them like haunted mm-hmm. um, or, or, or gory or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you could build like a, they could build like a mini Ferris wheel and kind of give that carnival feel to it, string yeah. the lights up and then have a bunch of the characters walking around. And Jack already kind of hangs out over there anyways. Yeah. He comes out of that, that back area a lot. So he can kind of hang out there, um, especially if they're not going to use, if, if, if they've moved, the tr- the tribute store to the to that other scare zone mm-hmm. um, he could almost you could almost use that front that they have there that was the scare that the store yeah. and use that um for some like, additional plate like you know you could do it do you it up play, with, that. play yeah. with it a little bit even if people don't go in it characters can come out of there mm-hmm. um i just i just feel like it would fit better as a as a as a scare zone it's not mm-hmm. one that i and, and i think maybe part of it's because i just i don't i don't think a house devoted to that would mm-hmm. really excite me that's fair again i'm not a jack fan to begin with mm-hmm. and i know I, I say a lot of things on here that get, <laughs> get a lot of people he get fired up um so we haven't started talking about monsters yet but once we get that inevitable <laughs> announcement we'll, we'll, we'll i'll stop we'll, i'll be we'll set fires um but yeah i'm not a huge jack fan never have been um obviously i'm, I'm newer to this than you guys but uh since i've been doing it i don't I haven't really it doesn't excite me in any way mm-hmm. so I don't personally want to see a house, but I still think regardless beyond that, I just think that the theme fits better as an outdoor type of mm-hmm. attraction. So I don't know. Yeah, I I am hopeful for the house. I, I like the whole sir. I mean, if we walked into if they did some sort of overlay, whether it's like video or actual tarping and had the whole house actually look like a circus tent yeah. and have it very circus themed, I'd be in for it. I also am not a huge jack fan you know he's cool it's great i i like some of the other icons a little bit more i gravitate more towards the director and the usher Mm -hmm. and then i'd say jack and the caretaker are like fighting for third and fourth so it's he's fine um i understand why people are so attached to him but again like you said shamus you're newer i'm also newer you know 25 was my first year so i don't have this this long tenure of devotion to jack the clown uh, and, and I just do think that the, you know, Jack, the clown is just such mm-hmm. an obvious horror trope and it just, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, but I, I'm excited for the odd fellow aspect of it. Cause it's more just backstory versus just like Jack doing Jack stuff. Right. So I I'd be interested into that as a house versus a scare zone. I hope it doesn't double dip. You know, I hope we don't have two scare zones that are also yeah. two houses, um, yeah. So I guess we'll, I guess time will tell on that end. Right. I, I don't think that it kind of going back to the, to the, um, what was the, we did it with Rob Zombie and then the, the, oh, um, Vanity Ball. Is that what you're Vanity Ball, about? Sorry. Yeah. I, that's oh, another yeah. one where I think that works better as a scare zone than a house. But mm-hmm. again, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't been going long enough to really know what Oddfellows is. Mm-hmm. Obviously, when you said it, I was like, what? What, what are you talking yeah. about? Um, but I would, I would almost rather them focus more on, even though I know he was just in a house a couple, like, was it two years ago? Um, mm-hmm. The Blood and Guts guy. Oh, HR Blood and Guts. I think, HR I, think Blood I, like, Guts. I like his character more than I do the Jack stuff. So, mm-hmm. like, I, I don't know. I just, unless they focus more on the, odd fellow guy and i can learn more about him specifically um than rather just making it an excuse to have jack there that's mm-hmm. the only thing i worry about is that it, it would become an, an excuse to just have um more jack and more chance and mm-hmm. you know reuse the same stuff over again but i don't know i don't yeah. want i don't want to keep going down this road to piss everybody <laughs> off. sorry everybody I, I still love me please it's all right guys i love jack don't you worry <laughs> all right one of the other rumored zones was something jungle oriented now if we go back to horror nights 13 there was the house jungle of doom Mm -hmm. this was very like cannibalistic Mm -hmm. um you know jungle bloodthirsty zombies Mm -hmm. stuff like that now is this if it does stick it kind of gives me a lot of the same feelings of like viking undead where if we do like you know, the Viking, it's like the Norway setting with like these big grotesque torture scenes. And if we do like a jungle theme, it's, you know, you're in the jungle, you have the cannibals, and then you have these mm-hmm. big ritual scenes. It's for me, like, 
obviously they're very different, but I see them like being portrayed similarly. Is this is a jungly themed style scare zone something that excites you at all? Yeah, as long as it's not zombies. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, if it's literally like you just said, if it's like if it's just a, a cannibal Vikings like mm-hmm. rip off, um, I won't be super excited about it. But mm-hmm. I think there's enough different there that they could kind of come up with a a new avenue to take it. Mm-hmm. Um, like even if it's just like, like, just the horrors of the like of a real jungle. Like if you do right, stuff yeah. like that, like have like, you know, big cat noises and stuff like mm-hmm. that, and have a bunch of gore and like missing, you know, hikers or missing adventurers mm-hmm. who are you know you who are found tied up or whatever. But if mm-hmm. it just ends up being like Hannibal uh, Cannibal Holocaust, right? Yeah, scare zone. Mm-hmm. Eh. I mean, okay, I, I'm not. I'm not going to hate it. I'm just not mm-hmm. going to be super wowed by it either. I, I would rather them do something yeah. different with it. Mm-hmm. Um, try to come up with something new. Cause I think it's pretty, it's, it's too easy to be like jungle cannibal in the jungle. Yeah. Dead people yeah. because the cannibals eat them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, indigenous people that no one knew existed who still live. Right. 3000 years, you know, before we all did because they haven't touched human humanity. I, I feel mm-hmm. like it's part of me thinks that that's kind of insensitive to keep doing that story over and over again. Like, yeah. are we really going right. to have to keep doing the whole, like, Hey, here's a bunch of indigenous people who don't have never met real people. So their first thought is to let's eat them. Kill like, you. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like that to me, like, and don't get me wrong. Like there's a place for that, I guess in history. Cause that, cause, cause it was there. Mm-hmm. Um, not to say that like we should justify it, but I'm just saying right. that like cannibal Holocaust is a thing. It's part mm-hmm. of the zeitgeist. People know what that movie is yeah and that has been a million copycats Mm -hmm. but can we just kind of leave that in the past Mm -hmm. and leave it what it is like let's not be eli roth and try to make green hell and try to bring it back up again and Mm -hmm. like it's just it's it's, not only is it that but it's also lazy and boring Uh, it's just gonna say it's it's repetitive it's very very repetitive and if you're gonna do a jungle theme Mm -hmm. let's do the jungle theme but let's try to think of something that's not like Mm -hmm. zombie cannibals or angry people that don't like the white man coming into their jungle. You know what I mean? Like just enough of that. Like it's, we've seen it a million times. I'd almost flip it and have it that like, there's this, this group of people that have lived in the jungle forever and their technology is almost, you don't have to get super sci-fi, but they've almost surpassed, you know, like it's not, yeah, yeah. we're almost, we're the outsiders. Look at it. Yeah. Just completely flip it. Kind of like, you you know, like do like the horror Wakanda. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Something mm-hmm. like along those lines where, you know, there's a secret society in this vast jungle that nobody knew existed. And they, they're so far advanced that like, they don't know how to like handle when a whole bunch of like, I don't know, military dudes show up and try to like take it over. You know what I mean? Like, and then yeah. have it almost be like a sci-fi jungle thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The next scare zone that was rumored is called dark Zodiac, which mm-hmm was actually a scare zone at last year's Singapore event. Oh. Interesting. So the Dark Zodiac was described as there's no good fortune to be found here, only evil, as the Dark Zodiacs have been summoned by the Horacle to bring darkness upon the living. Now, there was other characters in this zone. There was, like, demonic versions of, like, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio, you know, so on. And from the way that it looks like it was set up, that there was multiple stages where they would pop up and in staggered times. Mm -hmm. And then every, I don't know, let's just say hour or so, every specific time, all of the Zodiacs would come up onto stage to resurrect the 13th Zodiac, Horacle. Mm -hmm. So this is a pretty cool spin. I do like the stuff. You know, I'm not a big uh, Zodiac guy. I don't know. Mm -hmm symbols and the this, this stuff like that but i do find interest in adding horror to stuff like this like mm-hmm. you know obviously like seven you know the seven deadly sins yeah that's fun zodiac with the, i mean at first i was really excited because i was like "Ooh, the zodiac killer no it's the zodiac signs that's what i was thinking too <laughs> yeah but that's kind of it's a cool spin on creating these creatures based off of their 
God, it's it's not gonna be the right term, but <laughs> their mascot. I don't know what the the mm-hmm. what they're called. Whatever, like a you know, Jamie, you probably know these things more than you. Like a Taurus is whatever it is, a lion. Like their, like their actual like symbol. Oh, symbol. There you go. Yeah, yeah. like whatever the their representation is, their right. their animal or whatever the fuck. Yeah, but I call it I call it their logo. House. Like an Aries is a ram, I'm pretty sure, yeah. and like Pisces is like fish and shit like that. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. So I'm looking at a picture of the the Aries, yeah. and it's and it's a a a character with like these big swirly horns like yeah. on her head. So it looks like ram horns, which is really cool. So it's just taking those and twisting them into a horror spin Mm -hmm. so what do you guys think about the possibility of a dark zodiac style scare zone something different i like it i'm looking at some of the pictures online right now and stuff too because i kind of wanted to see what it was and i think that would be pretty interesting i was kind of concerned because at first when i was looking at pictures it reminded me just from like the setup and some of the characters that they have, it reminded me a little bit of the uh, Conjure the Dark. Dark. Yes, yep, exactly. me too. It did, which kind of threw me off at first, but then I was looking at the Zodiac signs and some of their uh, yeah costume costuming and stuff like that. It looks pretty cool, and I think it'd be something different. But when I first heard Zodiac, I thought the same thing. Zodiac Killer. I was like, damn, they're just gonna have them yeah, that like that. Was. But but this seems I much cooler. Yeah, I thought it was I, when you said Zodiac. I was like, oh. Right. right or the yeah, movie or- yeah i was gonna say or the movie too yeah. um who, who's to say that like this wasn't like their version of conjure the dark either though too that's true um because mm-hmm. remember we're talking two very different parks culturally so yes. like how well does the zodiac thing fly here like i know that mm-hmm. people are into astrology here like it's kind of a thing but it's also kind of a people there's a lot of people that look at it and go that's silly that's not- crazy and yeah. silly and, and why, why so do they want to cater to a very niche group of people mm-hmm. for an entire scare zone i mean I, i'm not saying don't do it because i would be interested to see what they could do with it and warp right. it a little bit but who's the first person to complain saying oh they're just making fun of my sign or whatever <laughs> and that just and it's like do they really want to open up that can of worms and be like, here we go. We're going to, have to hear from that freaking community. Now too. <laughs> yeah. like, like we can't make everybody happy. And I think mm-hmm. just, unfortunately, I don't know if it's a popular enough theme mm-hmm. to, to, but I mean, I'm not saying that they wouldn't happen either, but yeah. uh, I think trying to make, I think trying to bring things from the foreign so parks mm-hmm. oh, here it so bad. <laughs> is, is, is harder to do. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think it's as easy as people. It's not as simple as just bringing something here. Just yeah. like it isn't as simple as bringing something here or there, because there are things that we do that wouldn't be acceptable to them, right? To, to yeah. their audience. Mm-hmm. And not saying that we. I don't think that we wouldn't be a large group of the fans that would be into it or digging it. But mm-hmm. I think it's hard to like convince everybody that comes to this event especially a lot of the normal just normies as we call them Mm -hmm. (laughs) that come to the event because they want to see michael myers up close you know what i mean like they're gonna be like what is what is this this is Mm -hmm. weird like oh wait is that like is this like what's my sign type stuff like and i I feel like i worry for for that and and it becoming just a joke that's Mm -hmm. the only thing i would be concerned about Mm -hmm. so i mean it sounds cool i haven't looked at pictures i mean i'm sure there's a lot of ways they could do it but if you're asking me my opinion i wouldn't be super into it I'm like uh, okay yeah. cool i guess yeah there's rumors of a holiday version scare zone now this is i don't know if it's going to be a more just like christmas oriented one or if it's mm-hmm. going to be themed after like holidays in hell which was a maze from 2019 i believe at hollywood and now this is this same house is being rumored again for holiday um, for Hollywood as well. Mm -hmm. But holidays in hell is kind of just what you think. It's a bunch of different various Mm -hmm. horror takes on holidays, Valentine's day, new year's day, St. Patrick's day, Easter, 4th of July, Halloween, Mm -hmm. everything. So bringing this over as a scare zone, is this something that would be, intriguing for either of you oh 100 percent. i think if it's the 
the house they used in the past. If it's not something different, I think if they were just if they bring back like the what did you call it? The holidays in hell, or whatever. So it was called holidays in hell. It was a, it was a maze out in Hollywood mm-hmm. in 2019. Mm-hmm. I think I would rather that than versus like a, just a strictly like a holiday like a Christmassy Christmas theme, Christmas Krampusy house, one. Thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would I would love to see a holidays in hell uh, take oh, yeah. Orlando's take on it. And, you know, right. I, I don't know what the reputation of this house necessarily was back then. Mm-hmm. I know Hollywood's is always generally a little bit lackluster versus Orlando. So mm-hmm. to take a property f- and put our spin on it would be fun. Mm-hmm. The only, the only, I guess, hesitation I have mm-hmm. would be that I don't want it to turn into a crypt TV slash lights, camera Action! I don't want it to be just like, oh, here's a stage right. for Christmas. Here's a stage for Thanksgiving. Here's and it probably a, would not... be. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'd like to see some different interactions mm-hmm. versus just being a glorified photo op yeah. kind of thing. I would rather see a spinoff of Holidays of Horror that H.R. Blood and Guts did because I feel like that house in 2011 was really enjoyable. And I love the different holidays with the horror spin on it and stuff like that. And I feel like... Maybe if they were to do that as a scare zone in the sense, they could have HR Blood and Guts doing his uh, TV mm-hmm. broadcast out there and kind of having the different holidays around and stuff like that, which I think would be really fun. And I feel like that's grown a pretty big following. But yeah, when I saw that um, Hollywood, when they had gotten holidays in hell before, I was really disappointed that we didn't get that because I think that would have been a really fun house. Which, I mean, it could be either one. You know, it could, I, it, there was, yeah. I didn't see a direct reference to saying this is a holidays in hell scare zone. Right. I just saw that would be like a holiday themed one. Mm-hmm. So maybe we do get a little HR blood and cuts or something at that. I mean, I that yeah. hasn't been mentioned at all. I'd be stoked. But it would be pretty cool to tie him back in at some point. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Now, the last little bit of the speculation, obviously, we talked about a possibility of a Blumhouse scare zone versus a house this year. Mm -hmm. But there has been rumors that people have been being cast as Megan characters. And obviously, Blumhouse wasn't in any of the stuff that we just discussed. Mm -hmm. But there is a discussion that there's going to be like a Megan themed roaming horde. Oh, God. (laughs) So maybe they've replaced the chainsaw people, though. I'd rather I would rather I would I would rather that <laughs> than an entire Megan house. I would rather oh, I yes. would definitely if rather you, a scare zone than if a house. You gave 100%. me that. I don't at that point. I can avoid them. I don't really mm-hmm. care. And as I walk out, like your movie sucks, and I would just make <laughs> them feel like shit. Right. I'm kidding, kind of. But <laughs> the point is, is that like I would rather that 100 percent than mm-hmm. an entire house devoted to that fucking movie. I know. I would take yeah, I would take the horde uh because yeah. then it also wouldn't take a scare zone. You know, it mm-hmm. can they can just do their own thing whatever be there. Yeah. Megan can be represented uh in in the lowest possible way. Mm-hmm. You know, like if, if there's, you know, tiers, there'd be houses, scare zones, shows and then roaming horde at the bottom. But at the same time, like, stick them there. At the same time, like what does that mean? Roaming horde. Like there was one Megan in the movie. Like, what yeah, are we talking no. about? So it would essentially, about- yeah, I was going to say, I feel like it would be like multiples, which I didn't think would really make sense. But I was like, maybe they would do like dance numbers, like pop up at random kind of I thing and something like oh that. I, gu- I, I guarantee that's exactly what it would be like. It would probably be just like the chainsaw people over in Simpsons. Yes. Yeah, there's no like official yeah. Yeah. whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just let a five or six of them run around and whatever. And the walking and, like, dead. Sting, fucking chandeliers and, and dance. <laughs> yes, yes. Phenomenal. The, Although I feel like I did get a not not more appreciation for the movie, but when we were at Spookala this past weekend, uh Amy McDonald was there who plays Megan and she seemed like such a sweet little girl. She's she seems so nice. A wonderful person. <laughs> she and seems a so nice actress. And we got to see the Megan dance on TV. She's pretty cool. But the movie sucks. <laughs> the movie's awful. And I don't want I do not I, if I if I had my way, I wouldn't be exposed to it ever again. Right. But if I have to be exposed to it, mm-hmm. I'd rather that because I can walk away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then have to deal with a because hu- the thing is I, I don't want to I don't want to and again this is going to sound super first world and super conceited but like I hate to, <laughs> I hate to waste an entire house on well, something I mean, yeah. that I just don't want to do because I don't oh no do I'm it. the same way yeah. you know what I mean and I know I know that I get it like everyone's going to have that one house they don't like but I've had a pretty good track record I've liked most of the houses that they've put out there and I've never really had one except that, monsters 
<laughs> well, but even monsters, like I can appreciate the right. art, artistry and what mm-hmm. goes into building the sets. Like I never said. See, everyone, I guess, jumps on my throat and see now we're gonna, you're no, gonna get me going. Jamie. No, no. So you're gonna get me going. <laughs> so everyone thinks that I just like hated the house last year. I just wasn't. I didn't understand the hype behind it. Correct. I liked. I I, I liked the I liked the the set pieces and, and mm-hmm. the work that I appreciated the work that went into building it. Oh yeah, and and I gave a ton of credit to the actors that were put in it because they mm-hmm. went all out. Like good for them. Like they went mm-hmm. great all out. I just don't. It just the story didn't 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 wow me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I hate Dracula. I hate him. No, like, you wouldn't believe how much I hate him. I hate Count Dracula. And the fact that you mm-hmm. stuck him in a friggin in a mummy's tomb and he's he's wearing a blah 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 blah, blah like like that whole <laughs> outfit like it was my favorite whenever i saw him i was so excited <laughs> but but you know what jamie this is this is you're talking to someone who, who who raised himself on stephen king right and i don't like the traditional like super corny uh-huh 30s stuff like, right I, I liked the mummies in this house mm-hmm. i didn't like the draculas i think the draculas were tacked on but i didn't want to mm-hmm. make this about i don't want to make this about that house We've, i've said enough i've pissed off <laughs> enough people sorry but, what, what was i talking about oh I got wait. you all hyped up <laughs> yeah no i mean i think the only house oh yeah so the only house that i've ever like actively not gone through is bugs and that's all and but it had nothing to do with how good the house was it was just right i'm i have a unbel- i have an undying fear of mm-hmm. creepy crawlies and the mm-hmm. house gives me the willies but yeah, I just don't. I mean, if, going back to the initial question is, would I rather want Megan as a scare zone or a horde thing mm-hmm. or a house? I'd rather if they're going to put her anywhere, I'd rather just have her roaming around the park. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I just don't know how that makes any sense. Like, I can understand like a zombie horde or a purge horde. Yeah, but it's just a bunch of Megan's. A bunch of, bunch of, bunch of fuck, fucking little yeah. blonde girls running around singing fucking chandeliers. No, I'm good. And honestly, I feel like it was very more well received than I expected it to be. Because I feel like I usually like people yeah, like pretty it. Crappy. I, I usually yeah. like because, pretty crappy movies sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> people like paint by the numbers, simple mm-hmm. horror movies with mm-hmm. comedy in them because it gives I wouldn't them even consider it a horror about. movie though. That's the thing. But that's the thing. Like so. Again, we've had this discussion, and I don't want to. I don't want to go off on a yeah. tangent about Megan, but this is like the best hits of the off season for us. You brought it up. <laughs> uh, it's like, and I know I'm pretentious. Like I totally, 100 percent admit that I am one of the more pretentious movie people ever. Mm-hmm. Like I would rather a movie that makes very little sense, but isn't trying to be. I don't know. I, Megan is just simple. Megan's a simple story. Mm-hmm. It, it takes a lot of things from a lot of different other sources and not to say that like a- anything is original these days, but right. it's just, there was so many things about that specific movie that like, mm-hmm. I, I question the artistic choices that were made when they made that movie. And I'll say, like I said, I'll say something I said on the original podcast we did about it uh-huh. again, is that if you had told me that an AI chat GPT box <laughs> wrote that script, I would believe, believe it. You. Yeah. But and again, I didn't want to make this about the Megan movie, but yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it just, it is, it was very well received, but I think that's because mm-hmm. that's just the audience that, that, that it was, that it was made for. It was made for a specific audience, which is a lot of people. Uh-huh. And they, of course, all loved it. The people like me, most of them didn't go out of their way to watch it. I only watched mm-hmm. it because I had to, re- we had to review to. it. Yeah. And like, I knew like 20 minutes into it, I'm like, why the fuck am i watching this piece yeah. of shit i and I, I asked nick i was texting the 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 podcast group which we mm-hmm. should add you to it um we, i was texting them the, like 15 minutes in i'm like what what is going on like why why are all these different things <laughs> yeah. happening and whatever the point is is that the, obviously the movie wasn't for me mm-hmm. um so i know i am in the minority but you know i can understand why they want her in the park because she was a pretty pretty big deal when the movie dropped i think a lot of people thought it was good i think it's still got a pretty high rotten tomatoes score doesn't it yeah i feel like that doesn't mean anything but i think it does have a pretty decent score i think it means more yeah, than you think, think so it too. does i think it definitely means a little bit more than, than the general think. audience does if, like it if the that's general the case, audience then... enjoys it and 70 percent of critics or something like that likes the movie it's certified uh-huh. fresh i got a shout out it follows then because it's got one of the highest ratings on rotten it tomatoes does. And and no hey, one no, likes it <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong. With, well, th- th- that's the thing. Is that th- that's no? It's because you live with me, and I don't like it. That's no. the only thing. Nobody I was going to say it. we disagree on a lot of movies, but we collectively did not like Megan, which I was surprised on. I yeah, 
we usually have very oh, well, different. I mean, Nick and I have been doing this for years uh-huh. even before he met you. Like him, yeah. the same way. Like a lot of times, if I know I like something, like if I if I truly like something, I know that ninety percent of the time <laughs> is that Nick's not going to like oh, it, and 100%, vice versa, 100%. and vice versa. But that's just that. That's what makes this so much fun is that we all clearly like different things. Oh, I get so mad. Regardless, regardless, <laughs> at the end of the day. Not now we've gone 20 minutes on Megan, but um, if <laughs> yeah. they're going to have to have her in the park, I'll say it one more time. I would rather it be a scare zone. So I don't know what you guys think, but that's how I would rather. Yeah, that's I how agree. I want it to happen. The roaming. Hunter. I don't want her at all, but I can understand why they would would have her. I right. Get it. Yeah, I I will take it as a horde. And yeah. that is it. <laughs> so let's move into our main topic. The reason why everyone's listening 40 minutes in. Let's talk about The Last of Us. So we finally got our announcement. I think, I mean, people have been talking about this date, I think, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I don't want to brag, but I think when we guessed dates, I might have thrown this. I think I threw this date out. Somebody said like mid-June. Yeah, yeah, you guessed it, I said the 15th. He did. Somebody said said mid-June, yeah. You did. And and I'm not going to take credit that I'm sure. I think I just saw that the date floated out around. But Seamus took the week we were on. You took the next week. So I was left with going that one week further. So someone was bound to be right. It was right. But um, (laughs) the obviously, we don't have to talk about it as rumors because it came to fruition, but yeah. there was stuff with the YouTube page mm-hmm. that a video had been uploaded yesterday or Wednesday and it was hidden and, and that got the wheels moving for people. But we got the official announcement today at noon. Horror Nights tweeted out, try to survive the last of us. Enter the overgrown and perilous world of Naughty Dog's video game in real life as you fight to survive and navigate your way through an abandoned Pittsburgh with Joel and Ellie. Mm-hmm. And they gave us a little minute and 30 second little trailer, which has some sort of little Easter eggy kind of stuff, too. Obviously, they give us the last of us, the announcement. But then they also give us these weird, like, little circular pentagrammy images. Yeah. Um, so that's that's for another time to discuss, I guess. But yeah, I this mean, is, if, if this is going to tie in over overall, I think, with the videos like last year right, we like, had just like last year the you, all the announced videos will tie in together yeah. into one big video like, and they'll have to go in the park but mm-hmm. i haven't watched the, result, the, the launch trailer yet i'm sad to say i'm sorry everybody mm-hmm. i have to watch it i'll watch it tonight when we're done with this but um i i am i am pretty excited so i'll let mm-hmm. you kind of finish and then we'll probably we'll discuss yeah so i mean it's it's very it's very clearly stated this is the video game now obviously the video game this is the first time in a while, mm-hmm. I forget the year, but I mean, the last time they did a video game, I believe, was Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. I, I don't remember the year off the top of my head, but I mean, this is something that is kind of been talked about for a while. And I guess we can start the discussion with the whole people are debating series versus video game. And I think that that conversation is pretty null and void. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, you know, I, it's kind of a silly it's a silly argument to have because yeah. Anyone that's watched the show and played the video game, mm-hmm. the show is pretty much shot for shot the game. Right. There are some differences, obviously, because it's hard to completely create a visual media of a video game, like whether it's a show or a movie, and make it shot for shot and have mm-hmm. it like work. Like obviously, there are things that they have to do just for the sake of it being a, a passive show and not an active game. Um, but a lot of the scenes in that show are ripped straight from the video game because the video game is pretty much a, a series of mm-hmm. cin- cinematics with action in between them. And it, the cinematics are basically what you see in the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, again, I haven't watched the show. I've never, I haven't, I haven't even watched a minute of the show and I, and I would like to, I just don't have, I don't have HBO max. Um, so I've been trying to find a way to, to, to watch it, but mm-hmm. I've played both the games, So I have an idea of the story, ah. um, but everything I've watched about it, is that you know yeah the show is i mean if you, if, you, if you've played the games you're just going to kind of be watching the same thing that you love so much but in, in live action mm-hmm. so i think the argument of like well is, is the house going to be about the game or the movie mm-hmm. it's kind of the, the same game. thing you're getting it's the same the thing yeah i mean it's it's I, I think it it truly just comes down to and obviously the game i mean if the game is good enough to get a series it's good enough on its own you know it's oh yeah it it won ridiculous amount of awards mm-hmm. so right. it's it's one in the same. If somebody only knows the show, they're still going to know the name The Last of Us and they're still going to go and they're still going to understand it. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think there's that much disconnect between the two. Well, because let's be honest, and I know, again, I love to start fires. So I'm going to start another fire. Um, yeah. Most of the people in the video game community are gatekeepers, gatekeepers and mm-hmm. um, actually like so obviously there's a lot of people in in, in, in the community that's like well this is going to be about the video game and this tv show is just, it's just it's just a tv show and ugh. Mm-hmm. like relax like don't 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 get ahead of yourself the show from everything yeah. i've heard is it's like again i've never seen it I, I have to watch it but it's it's really good so it's going to have mm-hmm. two very distinct mem- like parts of the community and parts of the fan base are going to come for it because they either watch the show and they love the show or they watch they, or they played the games and they love the games i don't think it has to be one or the other you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying yeah um and people don't don't get don't don't get it twisted like playstation has a playstation studios that's a part of the whole sony conglomerate that specifically works with these game adaptations so naughty dog um did the uh what was the that movie with um Oh my god, Uncharted. They did the Uncharted movie, yeah. which is also a video game. So it's like this isn't the first time they've done it. <laughs> yeah, and this is uh, from what I saw uh Naughty Dog was very involved in the development of this house. Yeah. So it's going to be Good. A very accurate. It should be. A very hands-on approach on their end, which is great. Which can be I, good or bad depending on how you look at it. But. Yeah. I the the biggest conversation I saw between uh, the differences in game and 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 series is that mm-hmm. the game contains a lot more, you know, because the the villains or whatever mm-hmm. are that's that's your main adversary, so they're more prominent, right? So that is that bodes well for a house to be based more off of the video game, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, you know, yeah. If you base it off of just the series, then you might not get as many monsters. Or scares. Right, and I think because you get to understand, like like I said before, there are things concessions you have to make. So like the show is definitely going to focus more on the human characters mm-hmm. because that's the whole story. point. Is the whole yeah. story is about Joel um, is dealing with the fact that he's you know he lost his wife or his wife. I think I think he had a daughter. I think he, I remember correctly. It's been yeah. a while since I've played the game, so mm-hmm. he lost his family. He's now kind of like been forced to adopt this girl and bring her across you know a whole expanse of just death and destruction because she's like the key to like the you know the cure to potentially potentially right. curing the uh the issue mm-hmm. or, or or whatever you call it the the virus um mm-hmm. so like that's obviously that's why the show is kind of is really good and then obviously like you said the game is more about the enemies that you're fighting the zombies quote unquote that you'll call them um, this is kind of where I'm a little worried about it and maybe less so for people like me who, or, or maybe you've seen the show or something like that, who kind of know the property. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll be different because like, Oh, I recognize these from what I've played or seen, but for those that haven't done either, um, it may just become, or may just be like another generic zombie house, which I hope doesn't hurt it a little bit but in reality i mean that's really what it comes down to is like here's a bunch of infected humans who are now monsters that are trying to eat slash kill other humans you know what i'm oh. saying like it yeah you worry that is it just gonna be another feel like another rehash of you know of just of, of zombies mm-hmm. and because it's like we said it before it's hard to kind of really it's hard to put forth a story in a house because it's really just, hey, here's a property we all know and love. Now get now you get to experience it like in real life up close. And that's kind of what this is going to be, I think. So it's going to be great for people that know the property and like the property. But for those that don't really know the property, it may just feel kind of generic. But mm-hmm. I don't know. That, maybe that's just me being you know, worried about that and not mm-hmm. really going to happen. But I don't know. Yeah. Jamie, you've been kind of quiet. What do you think? Did we lose her? Mm-hmm. I don't know. She's not muted. <laughs> well, well, either way, what do you we'll think? Keep, we'll keep on trucking. Um, I am going to have to force my, well, not force myself, but uh, I'm going to put myself down to play this game. I need to. Oh, do it. You got a PlayStation, right? I have it. I just. Oh, you do. Not, oh, okay. Yeah. It is. It is not. not this isn't obviously a pod, a video game podcast, but it is. Um, it's a pretty tough, it's a hard game. Um, it's not one that's easy to 
I'll put it on easy, easy mode win. just to blast oh, yeah. through it. Well, that's that's the thing. Is like for if, I think like um, I think that um, kind of like the same boat for me is like I, I put everything on easy at this point because I'm I'm way too old and busy to like get good at games anymore. So if I have a game that I want to just experience the story, I throw that shit on easy and I just cruise through it just to enjoy the story. That's what I would suggest doing with this one because this one is pretty tough if I remember correctly. But um, just like you, I have to then apply myself over the next couple of months and actually find a way to get max or, or see if somebody has it or maybe just sign up for it for a month or two and, and just yeah. power through the show and get through the show. Um, yeah. Not to make it, I don't make that sound like I, it's going to take, it's going to be hard for me to, to watch it, but um, to find the time it does. Yeah. It's just, it's finding the time to watch it. Cause unfortunately like, you know, I don't, I've said it before. People know that like I have a family, so it's hard for me to find time to watch adult shows because I have to share a living space with, children so <laughs> it's hard for me to find time to watch things like that so with everything else that's out right now and available it's it's just tough but now that i don't have access to netflix anymore because netflix is um, making it harder to bum off your parents any uh, these days <laughs> so i'm gonna have to like take the time to either sign up for max again for a month and just watch it or, or, or whatever we got jamie and we're back because so <laughs> she was i don't know why this chatting always chatting happens to us me. Knowing. so it's like what are your thoughts then work? Yeah, right. On on The Last of Us. So I'm definitely glad we got an announcement. I've never played The Last of Us game and I've watched only part of the series. So I wouldn't say I'm as excited as a lot of my other friends have been. And I feel like this kind of reaches out to a more broad crowd because a lot of people are excited about the video game aspect being put into it. And I feel like a lot of people are really excited for it. But like I said, I'm glad we got an announcement, but this isn't something I'm super thrilled for. I should say, I could say, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just feel like I was, I never really got into the show. Like Nick had watched it and all that kind of stuff. And he, I think he finished it. Did you end up finishing yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I know he finished yeah. it fairly quickly and I just really couldn't get into it. I don't know. There's something about the post-apocalyptic uh, world ending zombie creatures, all this kind of stuff, what they have. It just never really did it for me, you know, but I could just be a hater. Is... I could just be a hater because. No, you're not. You're, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I wouldn't consider you a hater. I think, yeah. I think you're right. I think it's, it's, we, we said it earlier this episode. Mm-hmm. I think that some things are just, some things are very um played out. It's very much yeah. the same. And this, and this is again, mm-hmm. going back to a, a little bit as to what I was saying before. Mm-hmm. I think this is, this house runs the risk of, feeling played out um especially for those that like you that haven't really experienced right. either the game or the mo- or, or the mm-hmm. show and don't really have something to look back on mm-hmm. when it comes to the property itself so obviously mm-hmm. like if you're a fan of a, of a certain property mm-hmm. you can kind of look past some of the the cliches or like the, the you know we're reusing right you know themes or reusing settings mm-hmm. Uh, you can look past that if you like if you if you happen to like like the um, property because right. of nostalgia. It's just something exactly. That so, um, but you're right. I think mm-hmm. if you look at it just at, at, at the very basis of it, mm-hmm. like what it is, is it's post apocalyptic zombie ish type right. enemies eating other characters, trying to convert them mm-hmm. to also infected zombies. Yeah, um, they have a character in it that is very much like the liquor in Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. So. It, even gives off some of those vibes mm-hmm. um and there are aspects of the of the game that you know you're not going to quite get because right there's a different there's a different psychological thing going on there where if like if you're in control of a character you feel more connected to the story exactly so yeah. there's a different level of fear there mm-hmm. whereas if you're watching something passively mm-hmm. it's different because you're watching other people experience the fear mm-hmm. so like you're afraid for them but it's you're less yeah. taken out of it so now they have to find a way find a way to capture whatever that mm-hmm. is in between those two things with the house um and make it work mm-hmm. but like i said before I, I worry that i think for some people yeah. this may just be a generic zombie right. house maybe i'll love it, it who knows maybe it'll, it'll really surprise me honestly I, i'm i'm sure you'll like yeah. it i'm sure that a lot of people will like it i don't think anybody's gonna dislike it right. i just think a lot of people are gonna come out of there and go yeah it's just zombies uh-huh. okay mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. and they never do it again and i think that this is a house where I don't think we'll do our wait time episode, but I don't think mm-hmm. the wait time is going to be crazy. For this oh, episode. I do. I think yeah, it, I, mean, I think it, again. I think it might be at least, I don't know. Depends yeah, on what we get for IPs, mm-hmm. but yeah. yeah. Compared to exactly. I, I was going to say, I'll wait to see what other IPs and whatnot they announce. And then maybe 
it might they might overshine the last of us but the one thing that i just wish i wish i could change like go back in history and change Mm -hmm. would be one year because i do feel that this coming one year after descendants of destruction i think there's going to be a lot of parallels to that house yeah yeah Um, some I think it was some. especially like, the the back end of it was the you know we we go down to the fungus level and there's the fungus creatures, uh-huh. um you know obviously the abandoned and decrepit apocalyptic style mm-hmm. cityscapes um obviously they're going to I think because Naughty Dog was involved they're gonna mm-hmm. not really look at what was done previously and do just what was in the game. So I hope that they do pick and choose scenes from the games that don't feel repetitive from last year. Mm -hmm. But I, I just, I think that that feel is just going to be there for me at least. Yeah. And and for all we know that a lot of the under, a lot of the um, descendants of destruction may have been pulled from the house because this was originally going to be exactly all the rumors were that this house was going to be there last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's something we haven't really talked about. And Mm -hmm. I think people are, casually forgetting that this house isn't as it's not really that big of a, a big of an announcement mm-hmm. to me and that's i was gonna no, mention it but i, I didn't mention too. it for me it's like okay cool this is the announcement we're getting yeah expected mm-hmm. because Correct. we all kind of knew this was coming mm-hmm. at some point um and i think that you know outside of the chucky announcement mm-hmm. which we got a year ago or less than a year ago mm-hmm. but almost a year ago um you know mm-hmm. so there's that one and then this one hits and it's like, all right, so mm-hmm. yeah, we've got an announcement. Hooray. We, we, they, they told us something. Yeah. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Golf mm-hmm. clap. But I wouldn't consider this like a, like, Oh my God. Like this is a crazy announcement type of announcement. It's not it's a, a huge draw for me. It's like, a okay. Like we kind of saw this, we knew this coming. We saw this coming. We knew this was going to come. Yeah. Like nobody, no, 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 nobody's sitting here right now today going, mm-hmm. man, that, blew me away right. last of us was so, so surprised uh-huh. yeah so surprised by that i like, think i think that's just because of who we are now as you know in like in depth maybe, on this horror night's maybe. world if you know but i've it, seen people posting and talking about it that are just like i was at work when it came out and a lot of the horror nights casuals were like oh my god the last of us are you kidding me like that's crazy yeah Yeah. i had people i I guess so but the thing is is that they're not on the boards they're not listening to podcasts yes and no i mean so again i like to play devil's advocate i think that most people that are paying attention enough to make a comment about it are at least paying attention enough to the social webs Mm -hmm. uh, of of horror nights and they kind of just know like they they not to say that like they're feigning emotion, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but like to say that you had no idea, I think is a little disingenuous. I, now, granted, I'm not saying that everybody is like that. I'm sure there are certain people yeah. out there that like don't follow this whatsoever. And then a friend of them was like, hey, look at this post. Yeah. Like, oh, my God, really? Mm-hmm. Like, sure. Like those people, fine. But I don't think I, I think I, I still think the majority of are, are those that listen to every podcast mm-hmm. or at least look at follow HHN on, on all the interwebs and they follow mm-hmm. a bunch of people that kind of are in the horror community. I think that a lot of them, you know, I think it's just one of those things where it's like, Hey, horror nights made an announcement act surprised. Yeah. Yes. I think that's just, I think it, for me that I think, I, I think that's part of it. Mm-hmm. And again, I'm not throwing shade at anybody. I don't want you to think that I think you're weird or silly. Mm-hmm. I think it's fine to be excited. It's a, it's good to be excited. Um, I just, I don't think anybody was really anybody that, Anybody that truly cares about like mm-hmm. rumors and horror night announcements and things like that, like most people are just like you know they saw this coming, yeah, in some way or some or some, or some fashion. Mm-hmm. Um, now again, like if they give us an announcement in a week and we get like I don't know, like scream, mm-hmm. I think that 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 is going to warrant a big like you know oh my god like it's really going to happen mm-hmm. like that is different, but. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. again, this was on a spec map mm-hmm. last year, two or three times. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this does open the door, though, for possibilities of other games being implemented into houses, which would be really fun. Like Five Nights yeah. at Freddy's, if they were to ever do it and base it off the game. You could do Love yes for Bed. No. You could do Silent notice Hill how, game. So, so, so hold on. So, so notice how you just said, you just stated Five Nights at Freddy's. Mm-hmm. Or and again, I'm, I'm going to start another fire. I hate that game. <laughs> Do you um, really? <laughs> yeah, I I hate I, I 
whatever. The point is, is I don't like it. Um, <laughs> but notice how they're making a movie out of that. Yes. Yeah. And you said Silent Hill. Mm-hmm. They made a movie about that. Yeah. Or based on yeah. that. Um, I think that, yeah, they're, they, we should make more quote unquote game mm-hmm. houses, but they're game houses with a movie or a show that has been created mm-hmm. or has been created first based on that, based on that game. Yeah. It's not like, like I'm trying to think of a, of a good example. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, what's a, what's a good one? So like Outlast. Mm-hmm. It's a great horror game. Or Left 4 Dead. No one knows anything about it because they didn't make a movie or show about yeah. it. So, you know, yeah, they're going to, they're going to use the properties that they've mm-hmm. made other things on just by, by the nature of the fact that, they made something else based on it so that it'll get a wider audience. And that's fine. Exactly. Don't get me wrong. But like, you know, this, this is the game, the gamer gatekeeper in mm-hmm. me that's coming out a little bit where it's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a video game house, but it's, it's really only being made because they made a pretty popular TV show or a movie that mm-hmm. got some pretty wide distribution. So don't get me wrong. I would love to see like a silent Hill house yeah. because I thought the silent Hill movie was a lot better than people give it credit. And for. they had one previous um, in the previous years, but it was based off oh, the have? second film. Yeah, I well, think. All right. So, so there you go. I mean, I could, I could see that happening, but again, that house is based on the movie, mm-hmm. not the game. And again, I, that, that's kind of a silly argument. I said it before to have, because it is based on the game yeah. to a point. So that's fine. Um, but if you want to, if you want to wow me, mm-hmm. do a doom house and actually base it off of the video game, not the shitty movie. They made. <laughs> not the rock. Like, yeah. Like b- base it off the actual idea of a space Marine being stranded on Mars with a bunch of fucking hell demons mm-hmm. that are spawning through a fucking portal. Like do that. Don't, mm-hmm. don't do the movie. Um, but again, there's a stigma of video game media because a lot of the game movie shows, whatever they make, mm-hmm. aren't that good. And people are kind of like wary of mm-hmm. it. It's getting better. I mean, I think the more recent examples are better, but you know, they've made like 17 Resident Evils. Right. So it's like I've never seen any yeah, of them. All just, I've never seen any of them. The movies like, are just and the thing is like at this right. point, it's like, oh, they had a Resident Evil house. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they had a Resident Evil movie house. They didn't have a video game house. Mm-hmm. And I guess that's kind of a again, it's kind of stupid to bring up, but I don't know. I I feel like there's a distinct demarcation there. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas at least this last of us is a little different because I guess they did when we first started talking about it, that the, the show, everything I've heard is it, it's basically a straight remake of the game, Mm -hmm. which is what you kind of have to do when you want to make video game based content because gamers want to see their game Mm -hmm. in live action. They don't want to see your take on the story. Mm -hmm. Don't give us your take on the story. Just give us what we what we played and what we have nostalgia for. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's but, been a while. So Silent Hill was at twenty two, and it was based on both while. the video game and the movie. And then Resident Evil: Escape from Raccoon City was twenty three. So they did back to back years. Mm-hmm. Um, and this one, the Resident Evil, was based off of the video games. So yeah. is it so too early to say that we got it? We have a trend that there's back to back years of video game houses, and next year's got to be Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, right. Ugh. God. But I just feel like that's the thing, though, too, Seamus. Like, I feel like they would never bring a video game that people haven't really heard about. I feel like that's why they pick, Correct. That's why right. they pick these games right. that have had movies based off them, because it's going to get more of that bigger draw. Don't get me wrong. It would be great to see the more, I wouldn't say artistic, like, video games that I've never played, but the more in-depth horror games that are actually, like, really scary. I would like. I I just, I'd, love to see a, I'd love to see a Halo house. Yeah. I just what? think that there's more. There's. <laughs> I just think there's there's, there's sci-fi. There's, there's better yeah. examples. That that's 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 all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I think there's better examples than some of the ones that have been bandied about. Like mm-hmm. again, I understand why Five Nights at Freddy's is a big talking point because everybody talks about right. it, and it's it's the Gen Z darling. Gen Z loves that game because it's something they all grew up mm-hmm. with. Um, but I just yeah, I've never played that one. I either. need I need it's more hard. meat <laughs> on the bone, and you know. Yeah, at least it's different. I mean, evil and a, a, anthropomorphic like mm-hmm. Chuck E. Cheese characters. Like, yeah, yeah, sure, that's that's it's different, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's it's literally just like fucked up Chuck E. Cheese. Hot take: I would have taken so, like, Five Nights at Freddy's. Willy, the Willy's last Wonderland. Okay, um, yeah, hundred percent. Just, just my opinion, though. Just my opinion, though. No, no, no. Hey, no, no. Because Chuck E. Cheese, as a kid, used to scare the hell out of me. I was like, these animatronics are creepy as yeah, hell. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, 
but that's why I like fucking Nick Cage fucking fighting Willy's with Wonderland. Willy's Wonderland mm-hmm. because that was irreverent and funny, yeah, and less scary. Mm-hmm. I don't like. I don't. I, I don't know. I feel like they're gonna try to take themselves too seriously with this one, which like, I like. Though I'm not a huge comedy huge horror fuck. fan. You guys know that I'm not a huge comedy horror fan. But I would like them to take it more seriously. I think it would be fun. Yeah, but can you take it serious though? Because it's a bunch of fucking like teddy bears trying to kill you. Right. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not no. Trying, how, how serious can it be? No, I'm not. I'm not trying to like. Mm-hmm. Again, for those of you like yourself that are excited about it, hey, more power to you. Like, I'm glad you are just excited for mm-hmm. it. I'm just trying to give you my point of view. No, hundred percent. Like, I'm not excited for it because it's not. It doesn't. I again, I think it's only a thing because it's popular. That's I think part of my problem with it is like, and again, that's kind of a stupid opinion to have. So I know no, I have a stupid, no. stupid opinion, but the idea that like you know we're gonna use this property because it's it's it's, it's popular because mm-hmm. because by that token that's what The Last of Us is like it's popular exactly. right now, so that's what they're doing it. Um, and I'm with you. Like I think there's other things that I would rather them 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 have done mm-hmm. than The Last of Us, but. I, I can't also at the same time say that it wasn't a great story. So there's a lot of mm-hmm. things that they can use it for and I can see why they're doing it, right. but I don't know if you're going to ask me, would I rather have that or five Freddy, five, whatever. <laughs> called, I, I think, I think I'd, be the, I'd be, I'd be the opposite of you, Jamie. I would rather have the last of us. That's okay. But yeah. that'll be the next announcement we deal with. So yeah, next year, I think. Yeah, I think so oh. too. Oof. All right. Well, is that everything we want to get off our chest for The Last of Us? I mean, I think, I think I've so. kind of said myself. I'm going to be, I don't have a time frame for this, but I will be updating on the podcast how I am doing in this game and how poorly I am playing this. And I will update it and it give, you, Are you gonna play give it? you an excitement level. Oh, yeah, I'll play it. Um, but I'll give you an update of excitement level because... I think right now it's it's fun. Like I said, if we didn't have the sentence, I'd probably be more excited. I have watched the series. I haven't played the game. So for me, it's it's fine. I'll take it. But I'm not like, yeah, well, let's go. If mm-hmm. if you are, good. I'm happy for mm-hmm. you. There's more houses for me, too. But that's yeah. about that. So before we sign off, let's get into the horror movie of the week. Mm-hmm. Horror watches of the week. Who has watched some fun stuff? I did. What'd you get into? So, not a movie. I'm sure I know. Yeah, but... not a movie. It's a series that I've been highly anticipating for a while to come back. I fa- I have one more episode to watch. I take that back. I watched almost all the episodes of the new Black Mirror series that came out today. And I am pleasantly surprised with how good it was and how much horror is implemented in this season versus the previous seasons that they have or more of the uh, sci-fi fiction kind of thing, which really made me love that to begin with. And I'm usually not a huge fan of that, but I feel like this season, the casting, the directing, the cinematography that they had, I feel like it all just went really well together. And I feel like it's great and definitely hoping for a new season after this because I love the anthology series too that give you a different breakdown for each episode and stuff like that. I just think it's fun. So that is what I watched today and binged on. Well, yesterday I was a complete piece of shit and I watched an entire season of American Horror Story. (laughs) That doesn't make you a piece of shit. I did that too when I (laughs) powered through that series. I watched um, NYC, Mm -hmm. which was the the more recent. It was last season's one. I don't think I've watched I think that. so. Um, is this the one after the split season? Yes. Yes. The last one I watched was the split season. Mm-hmm. All right. So I got to watch this one then. Yeah. So this one's good. Um, this one was, it's like during the 80s, like gay scene of New York City. Yeah. Very, very good. I I do really like the season. However, I think the season went on about three episodes too long. Mm-hmm. They're, um, they're notorious for that. Yeah. yeah like, like the story, like the story long. ended. Like it ended and then they did almost like a three episode like yeah. epilogue of stuff that like it had to do with the characters, but it just didn't. You know, it was just weird. Too. I felt like, yeah, it was it was a really back. good, good story. And I would have been happy if the season was the same amount of episodes along and they strung the actual story out mm-hmm. that length. But the story ended, you know, the story was done and then they were like three more episodes. Yeah. 
All right, I'll have to take. I'll have to check. I'll have to find that. And take a look. I think it's on. They're on yeah, Hulu. It's on yeah. Hulu. I just feel yeah. like there's so many characters to focus on in that season, particularly though. Like, there's a lot of like main characters essentially in that. Yeah. So I feel like that's kind of why they kept it going. I, like I said, I never yeah. finished that season, but I really enjoyed it from what I watched. I'll have to watch it then. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, it's, it's really good, but yeah. typical. Essentially, cast. the story is mm-hmm. over at like episode eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Typical cast, like Evan though. Peters is in it, that sort of thing, or is it? No, no. so <laughs> there is only actor. one, and I forget which guy it is, but there's just one character uh, that Zachary Quinto, the, the guy oh. with like the dark eyebrows, he's in it. Yep, yep. and Dennis Zachary O'Hare Quinto. is in it as well, and Billy Lord oh. is in it too. Ooh, yeah, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to take so yeah, one. it's it's good. It's just it, it extended its its stay a little bit, but I really do like that storyline uh-huh. um but yeah that's that have you watched anything uh nothing full length that i can remember i mean the problem is i watched something and then i forget i watched it <laughs> like i always forget that i know i have to note so, it now i have to start like writing it down to keep like, at least keep it jogged in my memory um so i don't remember watching anything full length this last week or so but i did find a short on youtube i think i sent it to you guys um it's called the chair oh i've been meaning I to watch don't... that I don't know when it released. I don't know how old it mm-hmm. is. I think it's relatively recent, but it's won a couple of like shorts awards. Um, it's incredible. Uh, the acting's a little wonky because mm-hmm. obviously you can tell it's like it's made by aspiring filmmakers. Right. Um, but it's one of those like shot in like a single location. Um, the story's completely out there. It's so it's wacky, but it is still incredibly scary. Um, but yeah, if you, if you find it on YouTube, it's, you can just watch it. Okay. It's like 26 minutes long. It's, it's, it's really good. It gets quite, it gets to the point pretty damn quick. Mm-hmm. And, um, I got to give credit to at least the main actor, the kid can, he's pretty good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I don't know. Not much to say about it other than check it out. Cause if I give away too much, it'll kind of give away the whole thing. No, I definitely want to watch that. Yes. Yeah, so no. I love a good short. Yeah. All right. Well, before we completely wrap up, obviously remember, our shirts are on sale. Mm-hmm. Uh, remember our HHN at home contest is running. So check our Twitter page that is on our pinned tweet. Mm-hmm. And also Shutter Sundays has started in true fear and beer fashion. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have watched the video. It will be up on Sunday, yeah. this Sunday. Um, we just had very busy last everything. week. Then. Yeah, we had a lot of stuff going mm-hmm. on. We went to Spookala. Um, we did a couple things here and there. Mm-hmm. So we will get this thing on track at some point, but Shutter Sundays will continue on this Sunday. We are going to be talking about Deadstream. Yeah. Oh, that movie so is tune in, movie subscribe is to the YouTube page. <laughs> Did you see it, Seamus? Have well, you seen it? I've, wa- I've watched yeah. it. That movie is definitely something. It's something. <laughs> <laughs> well, until next time and the next announcement, this is Nick. This is Joel. <laughs> this is Jamie. <laughs> Happy fungi haunts. It's cursed, cursed, to the death curse. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's a type of one bit scared. <laughs> <laughs>Just like to thank Vampire Stepdad for letting us use his music for our intro and outro music. So if you would just go check him out, Spotify, Facebook. Again, that is Vampire Stepdad.